Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new here, hello and welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for lots more diamond painting content. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I am here with another sneak peek unboxing from Diamond Art Club. So thanks to Diamond Art Club for sending this over for me to share with you all ahead of the weekend's releases. This kit, along with all the other new releases, are going to be coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday, November 11th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific Time. 12 30 p.m eastern time and if you're in the ruby or diamond tier of the rewards program you do get an early access window that typically starts anywhere from half an hour to 45 minutes before the general release time you'll get an email or a text so just keep an eye out for that if you're wanting to take advantage of that early access window so the kit i have to share with you guys today is from one of my favorite artists that diamond art club releases artwork with it's from chrisabug and is another one of her gorgeous pieces this is goddess of healing waters and she just looks stunning oh my gosh if you guys don't follow chrisabug on instagram you absolutely should because she's always sharing really really incredibly beautiful artwork so this kit's gonna have square shaved diamonds the size is 22 by 34 inches or 55.8 by 85.9 centimeters Actually, just a little bit on the bigger side, especially height-wise. So anyway, as far as the box goes, we do have some blue branding here uh, that they have on their square drill shaped kits. And then there's some instructions on the back written out for you, along with the kit contents, everything you'll find in here. And then uh, down here on the side, there's a QR code you can scan for 10% off your purchase. Now, if you are brand new to Diamond Art Club, and thinking of making your very first purchase, I do have a 20% off discount code you're welcome to use. Um, it's just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. And like I said, that's 20% off your very first purchase. Please don't feel obligated to use it. It is an affiliate code, so I may make a small commission. I always turn around and put that straight back into my channel, and it's very much appreciated, but of course, no obligation. I just say take advantage of some kind of discount code because you're gonna see several in this video alone and i just say that i don't think diamond art club wants you to pay full price at this point so anyway here's all of our kit contents first let's take a look at the toolkit which is going to have everything you need to do your diamond painting with some really solid quality uh beginner tools basic tools now let's come up here all the little pieces okay so you are going to get a pen and squishy the color on those is going to vary there's also some thin plastic multi placers if you want to try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time you can pop that into the end of your your pen there you're also going to get uh, some pink wax it's going to come in this little caddy there's a couple of plates of this pink heart wax in here now there is a thin plastic film on there that you'll want to make sure you peel back before you try to load up your pen um, a lot of a lot of people miss that <laughs> especially if they're new to diamond painting uh, we've also got a tray here and this piece is not just a random piece of plastic that got tossed in by accident it's actually a tray stopper you can pop in to help stop the diamonds from sliding out if you like we've got a bag of baggies if you want to store your leftover diamonds in there you can we've got some branded tweezers they are sharp on the end so keep the cover on there you'll get a roll of washi tape and if you're like what how why would i use washi tape with a diamond painting i will have a video linked below you're welcome to watch the print on this is going to vary uh, but it is nice that they include it and then they do also include cover minders. The style on these will vary. They are eventually going to be discontinuing these being included in kits, but for now they're still with the toolkits and you can use them to hold back the plastic cover while you're diamond painting. So that's your whole toolkit. I have done kits just with the included kind of basic toolkit before and it's totally doable. You're also going to get this smaller sticker sheet, which I like to put this in my paper log book once I start working on a kit. I like that it has the original artwork and the name and the artist's name and some stats. Some people use this on the side of the box to help organize their stash, or you can find something else crafty to do with it if you like. Everything else is gonna be included here in this plastic bag or dust cover. Let's take a look. All right, so the canvas material, the backing is very, very, very soft. Ooh, look at her. Oh, look at that hair. Look at that face. Oh my gosh, that smirk. Looks so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is a bit of a taller one. Let me flip it sideways. 
can see a little bit more of her in, yeah, you can see all of her in frame now. Um, and then we have our diamonds, which we're gonna look at these together in just a little bit, but look at all those blues. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so many blues. All right, so included in here, you guys, there's gonna be a pamphlet with um, some helpful info in it. There's a thank you note from the founder on the front. Some info about what's included in your kit. A link to a beginner video. I also have a beginner video that I'll have linked below in the description box. There's just lots of helpful links down there, including also onto the VIP Facebook group, which is a nice resource to join once you have made your very first purchase from Diamond Art Club. And there's some step-by-step -step instructions written out for you, as well as some tips and tricks. Here is yet another discount code. And then on the back is info about the mobile app and you get 20% off your first purchase through the app as well. Diamond Art Club also includes this larger sticker sheet. I like that it has a spot to write your start and end date and it has uh, the title on it. There is a better and bigger look at this gorgeous original artwork. I just, I've seen this before because I follow Chris Bug and I remember this image from the voting rounds a while back. I did, I just, I did not realize it had so much blue. I can't wait to see all these blue shades that are gonna be in this kit. So that looks so pretty. Um, diamond shape square. 22 by 34 inches again, and the size in centimeters. And then over here, you guys, we have a set of, these are actually pre-cut sticker labels. I like to put these on my storage containers once I start working on a kit. It's really convenient that they're pre-cut and ready to go for you. Now the color code system you see in the right-hand column is uh, the DMC color code system. It comes from the DMC brand of floss, like with cross-stitching. Most diamond painting companies use this particular color code system. Now in Diamond Art Club's numbering system, anything under the number 150 is gonna be a special kind of diamond called an AB, which we're gonna, I'll tell you more about those in just a bit, but we're gonna have one of those in this kit. And then if you look at the very end of the color list, you will sometimes see diamonds that have, or color codes that have a letter at the beginning. And these indicate various kinds of special drills that Diamond Art Club carries. L, I, is either gonna be electro or iridescent. Well, I, my guess is we're gonna have an iridescent in this kit. Um, no, yeah, I'm pretty sure. And then I think electro is a different letter. <laughs> I, have to, I, I, did, I did a whole video on Diamond Art Club special drills and demoing them, and I'm just blanking on which letter is which. Okay, sorry, you guys. But I do know for a fact that the ones that have Z at the beginning, those are gonna be fairy dust diamonds, and I really do love those. Those are my favorite kind of special diamond that Diamond Art Club uh, has with their kits. They're gorgeous. So anyway, I don't know if you noticed, but for the most part, just leaving this sitting flat for a couple minutes there while we talked about that stuff, this, where this was curled up, it's now already wanting to lay flat on its own. Diamond Art Club's canvases do have a self-flattening feature if you give them a little bit of time. Alternatively, this side is like not quite laying flat just yet. You can roll it backwards the opposite direction. You can either roll the whole canvas, or in this case, I'm literally just gonna roll like this part and then it's good to go. So let me take you on a little tour of this canvas. So up at the top, we'll have their branding. Do what makes you sparkle. Oops, sorry to bump you. Diamond Art Club. And then the edges of the canvas, they are scalloped. They've got pokes in them, so they're finished. You're not gonna have to worry about any fraying with these canvases. Like I mentioned earlier, the backing, it's, it's really soft, it's plush. I love the material on Diamond Art Club canvases because it has a nice weight to it. It's really nice to diamond paint on. It's this like magical combination of being sturdy and malleable and holds diamonds really well. Um, the glue that they use is poured glue and it is very sticky and the clear plastic cover is good too. So um, on the top left, we're gonna have a legend schematic color list, whatever you'd like to call it. And we'll have the same one over here at the bottom right. And then at the bottom left, there are there's a thumbnail and then the title again and the, the size. And then this is always something I like to make sure I mention, copyright Chris Abag and Diamond Art Club. What this means is that this piece is legally licensed from the artist by Diamond Art Club. Chris Abug has both given permission for the use of her artwork by Diamond Art Club and is being fairly compensated. And this is really important because art theft is unfortunately common in the crafting world, but Diamond Art Club does license legally all of their pieces. Chris Abug actually diamond paints as well, which I really love. <clears throat> Down here at the bottom, we have a discount code, a link to their socials, and then info about their lifetime warranty. As long as you're the original owner and purchaser of your kit, you're covered under that lifetime warranty, which includes if you run out of any diamonds or have any trouble with the glue or the canvas, anything at all, 
contact customer support and they'll get you taken care of. All of these blues <laughs> look incredible. Now there is, this is a kit and I feel like with Chris Bugs kits, this really is often the case. There is a really solid mix of color blocking and confetti in this kit. So color blocking, oh, here's a great example. <laughs> Up here we've got these big sections of the same symbol, the same color in a small area. You'll be able to multi-place your way through those sections or at least have that color in your tray for a while. And so those tend to go faster. Now I bet if we look at her hair, yes, her hair has more of what we call confetti. Confetti is where we have lots of color changes in a small area. You'll be changing out the color in your tray a little bit more often and maybe doing some more single placing. And that does tend to take a little bit longer but the upside is that uh, you tend to get a little bit more detail that way and it's worth it. So I really love a nice mix of both of my canvases because confetti keeps it interesting, but color blocking keeps it moving. This looks gorgeous. Look at, I want to know what the shading with these blues is going to look like. This like gorgeous sky shading up here. I bet that's going to be so pretty. Are you already trying to guess like, okay, where are those special drills going to go? If we have three fairy dust, uh, one, I'm guessing it's going to be like the iridescent crystal and then one AB. I bet like that arc in the background is going to have some, I bet the, maybe the tattoos on her arms. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Okay. I'm going to do a quick measurement just for posterity. And of course I've got this like laying on my table runner, so it's not laying totally hundred percent flat. Okay. So we're at nearly 86 centimeters. I almost said 86 inches. <laughs> no, that would be enormous. <laughs> uh, it's listed as 85.9. So we're calling that true to size that way. And then uh, 50, almost 56. And we're listed as 55.8. So yeah, I'm gonna call that true to size. Um, I find I'm in our clips canvases to be, I mean, they tend to put it down to like a 10th of a centimeter. And so it's like, yeah, no, they're, they're usually true to size. <laughs> anyway, here is the diamonds. We're going to take a look at some of these and, uh, also find those special drill colors. There is a sticker on here that tells you what kit these go with in case you store these separate from the canvas and outside the box they came in. Let's get into these and take a look. Oh my gosh, of course. Like, I mean, just look at the canvas and then look at this color spread. It just seems, it seems perfect. Uh, perfectly represented there. So a million shades of blue. Now these are square shaped diamonds and Diamond Art Club does make all their diamonds in house, both round and square. And we have three bags of this 813 color. They print the DMC code on the front of the bag. They even put a little line under it so you know which way is right side up. They do that because there are a couple of DMC codes that have just sixes and nines. And so that helps you know which way they're supposed to be <laughs> right side up. 141, here's our one AB color that's in this kit. 141 is a gorgeous white AB that has a, a really nice color shifting coating on there. Now, ABs get their name from the Northern Lights, Aurora Borealis. And they do, like I said, have this special coating kind of painted on the top there, placed on the top there that just really stands out from other diamonds and reflects, you know, a variety of colors and it'll highlight the areas it's been charted and really draw your eye to those areas. So there's our first special drill color. Three bags of 517. Uh, Diamond Art Club square drills are really nice quality. Um, I've run into an issue or two in the past, um, or I mean recently, and I've, I've let them know, and they're really quick to try to fix any trouble with uh, quality, which I appreciate that they're very responsive to that, but that does mean that I do want to like just kind of keep a close eye on these as I'm going through them. It looks like this kit is going to have a mix of, well, hold that thought, hold that thought, because first, you guys, we have our first fairy dust color. Now, let me zoom you in so you can see that these, so Z3766, these diamonds have a glitter coating on the top. It's different from the ABs. Uh, it's a really fine glitter coating on the tops of these diamonds. It is so, 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 so pretty and it has a more subtle effect than ABs. I really love it a lot though. It's more shimmery. So one of my favorites for sure. <laughs> Um, and then here actually is our second fairy dust color, Z3816. This one is a really gorgeous mint color, almost with a bit of aqua, minty aqua. You can see that glitter coating on the top there. 
And then, okay, you guys, it is. This is one of their iridescent diamonds. L is with iridescent. Okay. So iridescent diamonds. You don't see these as often from Diamond Art Club, uh, as often as you'll see fairy dust and AB colors, but these are absolutely stunning. They have this mirror backing on the base. Zoom in again. Um, you can see the mirror backing on the base, and that's going to cover up the symbol and also really help the iridescence, like that crystal glassy effect of these diamonds really, really shine through. So these have a really unique effect, and I cannot wait to see where these are going to go. This looks so pretty. I haven't worked on a kit with iridescent diamonds in a while, and so I'm really excited for this one. So L3823, it's a really pale... It's almost a pale peach yellow beige. I can't totally tell what I would call that color. It's not white. It's got like a hint of a, another color to it. So I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, we'll definitely, we'll find out where that one's gonna go. <clears throat> okay, so we've had one AB, two fairy dust, and then the iridescent color, which means we should have one more fairy dust in these strands. Okay, so this kit looks like it's gonna have a mix of um, drills that have different numbers of facets on the top. Some of these colors appear to have a mix of like 13 and 20 facets or just 13 facet drills in here. And some of them like these look like they have the ballpark 20-ish number of, <laughs> of facets on top. They have a little bit of a different effect. Uh, the ones with more facets tend to look a little bit more What's the word? They have a little bit more of a pyramid, like they kind of peak a little bit at the top. It's actually, they're so faceted, it's hard to pick out the individual facets. They have a really unique effect though when they're on a canvas, especially in like large sections, so. But then, all right, this last strand, there it is. There's our last fairy dust. Oh, there's a straggler, a little straggler orange drill or brown drill from the next strand over. Okay, so this is a really pretty, um, like ivory, like pale peach fairy dust color. Really subtle glitter on the top. There you go. So pretty. So through the rest of this strand, a Diamond Art Club roughly puts their diamonds in order of weight as opposed to, you know, DMC color code order or similar. There's those three tens. From what I'm seeing in the bags, these do look pretty uh, uniform and consistent in size and shape. So that is definitely good. Now let's take a look at the canvas and find where those special drill colors are going to go. So I have a feeling most of them are gonna be up towards the top, but I really could be wrong because we did have uh, those three fairy dust colors and one of them was a pretty blue fairy dust, which I actually do see. It's one of these, ooh, you got glare. Okay, so letter N. Uh, that's our, our blue fairy dust color that we had. And that's just gonna add some shimmer to this water and it's gonna be really pretty. And then let me see. Yep, okay. This white symbol with the black dot, that's our white AB color. So um, you'll see that them use that in water sometimes. There's like little dots of it here and little dots of it over here. That's a different symbol from this, just FYI. Actually, you guys, that is our iridescent. That's our crystal color. There's a bunch of those four. Um, let me see. In these plant leaves, the letter E is going to be that pretty aqua mint fairy dust color that we had. We also have more of these crystals. And the crystals are the symbol that have the little, I call it like the corner in the dot. And just a single dot is our AB color. So we have those ABs, and then we have those pretty iridescent colors. And then let me see, okay, this percent sign, I'm checking my symbols to make sure I'm not gonna look, overlook anything. Okay, <clears throat> and then hopping up over here, again, we have the letter E in the centers of the leaves. The letter E is a fairy dust color, and we have more of the iridescent color uh, in here. I'm gonna flop this back down so you can kind of see it in context here. Um, so we have, there's you know, some iridescent and then some of the white AB sprinkled in here. There's a sprinkling of the iridescent over here. And then as we get into, ooh, okay. So kind of her wrap here, there is the greenish, like that kind of aqua mint fairy dust is kind of doing some pretty highlighting throughout her wrap. 
which is really pretty in these colors. And then this white back here, as well as over here, this is all a B. That's gonna be really pretty and give this more of like a mystical effect, I think. I love that. I am also missing, entirely missing, uh, the water that she's pouring out has a ton of that blue fairy dust color throughout. So I was hoping, I was like, that water, you know, I hope it's gonna stand out a little bit and I think that's gonna be perfect. There's a line of white ABs right here. And then you see the little white dots in the background. I know it's a little further away from you, but those are white ABs. And then I was gonna say the one that we haven't seen yet, I spot it now, <laughs> is the uh, that last fairy dust color we looked at that was the really pale, this one. It was kind of a really, really ivory, really pale beige color that goes right next to, ooh, oh, that's so pretty. Okay, so this arc above her head, this kind of uh, circle of, you know, glower magic above her has, it's just like a double line. And one line is the, that fairy dust color I just showed you, the ivory one. And then the iridescent color is right next to it. Have I seen an iridescent and a fairy dust next to each other before? I've seen fairy dust and ABs next to each other, but I don't think iridescent and fairy dust. That's going to be, I bet, really, really breathtaking. Ooh, I can't wait to see how that's going to look. And then in her hair, these little accent pieces in her hair, that is our iridescent color. And then the highlights on the top of her hair have both that ivory fairy dust and some of the iridescent color. We do have a sprinkling of the white ABs throughout here. And then these little pieces, there's a little bit of this, uh, this ivory fairy dust just doing a little bit of highlighting right here and then on the side of the jar as well this is the ivory fairy dust i'm not convinced i'm not missing something i feel like there was more oh okay oh in her hair okay so in spots in her hair we have some of the ivory fairy dust that was a small bag. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we have enough. I bet it will be fine. It's just the arc and then parts in her hair. Okay, it'll be fine. Um, there's a dot in the center of each of her eyes that is the, a white AB. And this white in the background here is all white AB, as is this right here. And I think, I think that's that about covers it. Oh my gosh, can I tell you something? I just... I love Krista Buck's artwork so much, and I really think that Diamond Art Club does a beautiful, beautiful job with charting her kits out, especially the special drill placement. It's, I think they do an amazing job. I've done a few kits from Diamond Art Club and Krista Buck and have been really, really happy with how they've turned out. And so it's a really easy buy for me, <laughs> or a very easy pick for me when they release kits from Krista Bug. So I'm really excited for this one. I really loved this artwork when it was in the voting and I'm so happy that it's here. I, you know, I hope I'm gonna get to it soon because especially those special drills, I really wanna see how that fairy dust and iridescent are gonna look side by side on the canvas. but. Um, let me know what you think, you guys. Just a quick reminder, this kit along with the other new releases are coming out tomorrow, Saturday, November 11th, 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. You might wanna just double check, especially if you live in a different time zone. Um, we did have a time change just last weekend and it's possible that that may translate differently for you. So feel free to you know, hop on Google and just say, you know, what is you know, 9.30 a.m. Pacific time in my time zone and it should pop up for you. So anyway, um, I hope that this unboxing was helpful for you and that you enjoyed getting a look at this beautiful, beautiful kit. This is Goddess of the Healing Waters by Chris Abug. And happy shopping. Let me know what you think down in the comments or if any of the other new releases this week are on your shopping list. Be sure to check out my fellow fabulous content creators for sneak peeks for this week's releases. And Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see lots more diamond painting content from me, like reviews and tutorials and um, whip and chats, that sort of thing, I would love to have you here. Feel free to subscribe. And uh, I'm going to let you go, though. I hope you have a day and a weekend that is as wonderful as you are. And I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.